this must let me start with you. Um, Kenyans are disillusioned about what's, what's happening, what's going on. Yes, and, and I want to thank uh, Abdallah Kasim, the gentleman who has sent a tweet. Indeed, he's a very clever man. Mm -hmm. Because when you, uh, when you spend your time defending uh, facts and ideas, you are always on the right side of uh, history. And you recall a few days after President Kenyatta and his deputies had uh, that handshake, and I'm happy that I was one of the few guys who said that uh, this thing needs to be structure structured mm -hmm. so that it represents the cumulative interests and wishes of the people. It's not only President Kenyatta and uh, Raila Odinga who want peace and prosperity in this nation. It's every single Kenyan. And these two leaders have got the hugest reservoir of a political capital, so they've got the opportunity to carry us along as they meet their selfish interests. And you remember in our show we kept on asking, is it the case that our President Kenyatta's and Ray Lodinga's selfish interests are consistent with our national interest and our public interest? That remains the question. And when Msalem Dabadi came up and said that the other NASA principles do not oppose uh, the handshake, but what they want to do is ensure that it's structured so that everybody is included, civil society, businessmen, corporate leaders, every Kenyan must be captured in that. And that's what is coming to bear. It's very embarrassing for Raila Odinga that uh, he's supposed to be meeting with uh, CS Eugene Omalwa, and all of a sudden, Eugene Omalwa says, I'm not available for a meeting. There's a diary conflict. So when uh, Eugene Omalwa was requesting for this meeting, they did not consult his uh, diary. And at this stage, the only, other, the only person who can make Omalwa, rather Eugene Omalwa, stop a meeting is uh, President Kenyatta. So what happened on that particular day? Very embarrassing for Raila Odinga. And I think there is a national shame on him that he's embarrassed to appear in public anymore because he knows he's going to face so many questions. Mm -hmm. But again, there are reports that he already enjoys a motorcade and so does the, the wife. So probably he's gaining um, some mileage out of it. Mm -hmm. And then his new position uh, at the African Union. And uh, you see Sifuna, normally a young lawyer with a lot of energy, struggling to explain to Kenyans that uh, there was a diary conflict. And uh, as such, the... Eugene Omala is not be able to make it. Almost uh, comical. But making progress, mm -hmm. you will notice that Raila Odinga, and I repeated it earlier on, that uh, he's got, he's an enigma, is an institution who can make things move. All right. And you recall he's had uh, three famous handshakes with uh, President Moi, with President Kibaki, and now President Kenyatta. It's now time to institutionalize those handshakes. What happens if today President Kenyatta decides not to attend a meeting or Raila decides not to attend a meeting. Because right now, the probability of him attending a meeting after the Muguna fiasco mm -hmm. is uh, fast approaching to zero. All right. Do we go back to those tensions? And this is faith in uh, two personalities. All right. What if they wake up in the morning and they don't want to see each other? Do we go back to tension? And I think that's the message that Kasim is talking about. That 